Okay, uh, what I can tell you is uh, right now the clean energy plant, which is still under construction, we had a massive explosion there this morning. Uh, right now there are confirmed fatalities. How many? We're not sure yet. We're in a search and rescue mode. The fire is out in the building. Uh, the building was not level. The building was uh, pretty heavily damaged on the back side. Um, and right now, like I said, we're in the search and rescue mode and uh, we're going from there. Um, what blew up? Part of the building, that, that part we're not sure yet. Uh, the investigation obviously will, will get started once we hit, make sure we have everybody out of the building, uh, if there's any survivors inside the building. Um, you say the building, which one is there? Is there are there multiple structures? There's multiple up there? structures up there. Uh, which and building? It's, it's, it's a very large building. I, I saw from the front, I'm not sure what that building does at this time. I'll get more of that information for you later. Um, it was connected with the gas, the natural gas pipe that was coming into the building. That was part of the involvement in the, uh, in the explosion. What caused it to explode, we're not sure yet. Obviously, we're still in the state in the, uh, in the search and rescue mode. The state fire marshal's office is on the scene. And as you can see by the, uh, all the vehicles here, that multiple agencies are here right now. How many are missing? No, none of that is sure. There were approximately 50 workers on the site at the time of the Construction explosion. Construction workers? Construction workers. What do they work for, sir? I'm not sure of that yet either. So are there any workers from the plant there as well, or just construction? No, the plant is not in operation right now. It's still under construction. So uh, I, I would imagine that there were uh, none of the uh, operation okay. people from the uh, clean energy. So we have no idea how many fatalities it is? Not at this time. We're not sure. Do you sure. know a range of fatalities? Not at all. Not at all. Uh, what are still are accounted for? I mean, are there people walking around up there? That... That's, what, that's what we're not sure of. There's such a large amount of people in the area right now that we're not really sure on the, to be able to count the 50 or so workers who are supposed to be in the area. They're trying to get that figured out right now. Uh, but like I said, we're in the search and rescue mode trying to go through the uh, part of the building that was heavily damaged from the explosion. So is there a possibility that there's people trapped under? I would say yes. I'd say there is a possibility that there might be people trapped underneath the rubble that's there. Can you describe the scene? From what I was able to see from the front of the building, uh, that building is heavily damaged. I can see that. That was the back side of the building where there was the explosion. I really couldn't get around to the back side of the building at that time when I was up there. So uh, I really couldn't tell.